Hey, how's it going, family? I wanted to uh, put my thoughts in about this Hero of the Month for March. Uh, I want to apologize for posting it so late. However, from April on, I will be much better at uh, posting them at the early part of the month. Okay, so we have Anushka. We have a five-star druid, um, dark hero of the 2024 family, the legend family. And this uh, family bonus will not be active until January 1st of 2025. Yeah. Um my opinion is that it's going to be i think the previous uh for the legends the previous ones um is if you had more than you had i believe i believe that's the one where you have to have two heroes of the same from the same family within that year this element link will apply to all heroes which i think is pretty awesome all right so let's look at the passes. We have resist blind. This character has innate resistance against status ailments that affect accuracy. Doesn't apply to status effects from allies. Okay, I don't think I don't think there's a hero that will that will do that will inflict uh blind accuracy to their opponents I mean not to their opponents to their own allies uh, I can't think of anyone that does that um, well resist blind actually I think is a pretty uh, I just thought about something um, this is actually a pretty good passive however this d oh my gosh I just thought about it now after um Looking at this hero, blind doesn't affect the use of the special skill for a healer. Although it will affect the other part. Actually, it won't even affect the other parts of it. And we have the second passive, which is health recovery on status ailment received. This character recovers 10% health when they receive a status ailment or a negative stack. Okay. There are two other heroes that I have that have that um, passive. One of them is Tahir, who I use on every single um, red Titan team. And then we have Alexandrine. I have her. Yep. I basically... <laughs> it's so crazy how how much I chase after that hero, embarrassingly. I remember when she was first premiered. I believe it was, I think, October of 2021, right? Yeah, it was definitely in October. I chased her so hard and it was at the costume chamber because the costume chamber is usually where I'll pull the hero of the month and I I, I did like a hundred pulls trying to get her and it just didn't happen. I did end up pulling costume thorn and I think at that time he had, he didn't have the second costume. They didn't have double costumes at that time. But uh and I use her again. I use her against every um, fire titan because I love the effect she does. Any, anyway, you know, with the tiles. Anyways, it's not about her. Um, so I think this is a pretty good passive as well. If they keep getting um, ailments on them, they just keep building health, building health, building health. And I'm trying to remember if poison damage for each turn will they build this health. Or is it just the first time it's applied to them? Oh, so I guess it's received. So I wonder if that's interpreted that way. Um, as in every, like, let's say if they have fire damage. I have to test that out because I don't remember. If Let's say if they get hit by a, a hero that applies burn damage. For every turn of burn, will they receive a uh, health increase? I think so, but I don't remember. Don't quote me on that. Okay, so with the stats, we have 861 attack, 943 on defense, and 1664 for the health. I think those are all pretty respectable. So now let's go into... Oh, and one more thing I did want to say. I know this is a little irrelevant, but I did go look up this name, Anushka. 
And if I didn't pronounce it right, can someone please correct me? It actually is, um, it has Russian origin and it means grace or favor. And it's, um, oh man, I forget the rest of it. But, um, and it was basically a name that's given to, I, I believe it's like the, uh, oh man, I had it in my head. I just can't think of it at the moment. Um, the most elegant of, of babies. So that's, that's pretty interesting. So let's go to the special skill. We have strange incense at average speed recovers 25% health for all allies. Steals all dispellable buffs from the target and randomly distributes them on allies. And this is actually a new mechanic that I do like. I think the first hero to have something like that was, well, it wasn't reallocating buffs. It was, wait, actually, no, I think this is a, this is not, this mechanic is not new. They did have that with, I think Mad Hatter technically. Well, he stole it. So yeah, I, I, so maybe Mad Hatter was the first one to do that. And then I know there's a Lady Loki. She actually reallocates, uh, I believe it's ailments. Okay, so we have the target falls asleep. While asleep, the target can attack or gain mana. All damage dealt to the sleeping target is increased by 40%. The sleeping target is woken once it takes damage. This excludes damage from minions and fiends. Element Link gives all dark allies 10% additional special skill damage for four turns. This effect can't be dispelled. Okay, I like I like the Element Link. And um, there's only one other hero in the game that does that has this uh, type of mechanics. I think he was from uh, I, I can't say the hero of the month and he was late in a year too. It was a nature hero of Jurit class. I his name is Bal I know it's not Bulbasaur. I wanted to say that, but I know it's not. Uh Bulbar. And I haven't seen that hero of the month used very often. And I actually had him. I pulled him. I really didn't want to, but uh I actually, <laughs> he's no longer on my roster because I used him at one of the uh, soul exchanges. So that tells you how much I care about this. Now, okay, let's go into her special. Um, the health recovery, I think that's a very small amount because even rare heroes give more percentage. Like we have um, Belleth, she does 32%. And then for the average heroes, usually for epic and rare, it's usually between 40 to 42%, even as high as what? 60%, but that's, I think that was since season five. So this health recovery is pretty low. Even um, I have Grazul and she's at very fast speed and she does 22%, plus she, puts on uh, um, ailment protection. So all everything after between the health and the element link, I think I think this is weird to be on a healer because you also, not only do you heal, you have to target someone. And the, the thing about this mechanic is that you have to really time when you use this, this hero because if you use her prior to uh, area on effect um, hero, then she they're just gonna end up waking up the target the target. So that doesn't really make any sense to me. And this seems like a special that should be on an attacker, not a healer. Um, I think she would benefit instead of all that. You know, if they were to remove all this center part. And maybe put um, something like, uh, I don't know, like, well, we have a lot of clients, but you can never go wrong with having that utility or a dispel. That's always helpful. Um, I think this here would have benefited if they had maybe, um, either if they produce minions, kind of like what um, Malik Malachi does, except for heal. 
where she'll produce minions and lowers the attack on on the the opponent. So if they want to keep her health at 25%, have her produce minions and that would give a semi larger amount of health and then when the minions are produced lower the attack of your opponent so it makes it harder for them to penetrate through the minions either that or you know do an attack up for your team and attack down for the opponents or an attack up for your team no uh, i would say a defense up and a lowered attack for your opponents so and in regards to titan well it's kind of useless because you know you're constantly attacking the titan so this hero you can't take it there i feel that she would be better as an offensive hero than on defense because at least on offense you can target the hero that you want to put to sleep but then again like i said with this mechanic you need to have the proper timing and uh on off on defense well i don't think it's going to be a good hero because the ai may target um may target one of your heroes that has no mana so and then and then if she's average and then you have a slow speed hero or they have i was going to say minions but i don't think so it'd be from a slash attack will just end up hitting that hero and it's really not going to be all that effective. To be honest with you, um, I would recommend if you have any other healer in dark regard, um, Sabina, Annabelle, I say use those instead of this one. And if this one fits your roster, I would say bring it up to 370 and do do like a test drive with it and see if you like this hero in fact i recommend you to do that with any hero if you're questioning whether or not you want to use ascension materials on them so with this one i would say i would advise to do the same thing uh use if you want to level them up bring it to 370 and do a test trial and see how that works and then decide however this is not a hero i would recommend using your ascension materials with and like I said earlier, I'd recommend you to use Costume Regard or Regard, even the original, because Cleanse is a timeless um, uh, utility. And so is Dispel, which Sabina has. Her costumes, both her costume versions are even better. And Annabelle, who actually does both, she dispels and she cleanses. So, all right, well, those are my thoughts. Just let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you um, were able to catch this hero and whether or not you're going to level them up and what's your opinion of it. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. Peace out, and I mean it. Bye, family.